Hello and welcome to today's video, in which I want to show you how you can bypass the speed limit of 25 km on an e-bike, whether it's a newer or slightly older model. Specifically, we are using two relatively new boxes, the Speedbox 3.0 and the equivalent Weisel tuning module. Both are hardware tuning solutions. With the very newest models, you can sometimes go in via software, but we are not doing that. These models need to be physically installed in the bike. In this video, I will show you exactly how to open the motor and battery covers, which tools you will need. Here we have a Bosch Torx and the Bosch Allen keys, and possibly how to remove the pedal crank if necessary. For some models that is required, if you want to see how it all works, stick around. We also have a bike stand here. This just makes it easier to work at a comfortable high without lying on the floor. Let's get started. I will mount the bike in the stand. Once the bike is mounted, we first remove the front cover over here. Move the pedal out of the way if it is necessary. Open the rubber strip and loosen the top screw if needed. In this case, it wasn't really necessary. Carefully lift the cover off and put it aside. Next is the lower protection cover over here. It has two screws at the front that we need to loosen with a 4mm Allen key. Remove the screws carefully and put them aside. Watch out for the pedal being in the way. A bike stand for approximately 30 or may even 40 dollar is super handy here. I have linked you the one I am using below the video. But first of all, before removing the Allen screws at the front of the bike completely, check the side torque screws. These are T20s. They are on both sides of the, of the motor cover. Often you don't have to remove the pedal or chain ring. Just reach them carefully with the tool. Now we are losing these screws and then finish removing the front Allen screws. So you're going right inside here and you hold the cover with one hand so it doesn't fall off to the ground and make it damaged. Once you did that, the lower cover comes off, giving you access to all the parts. For example, you are seeing over here, you have on um, the first hand side the light parts. So for example, the front light is the blue one and the back uh, light part is the red one. You have the speed sensor part you're needing right now and everything else. So just in case, take really good care of these parts. Don't damage them at all and be very carefully with removing and reinserting them. The English language is often a bit more compact than German. We tend to use fewer syllabs to express the same idea. This means that in conversations or presentations as well, we can speak a little faster and still cover the same content. That's why English sometimes feels quicker and more direct compared to the longer German expression. And right now we reach the 24 seconds we need it. Looking inside the motor area, you will see six connectors with different colors. The thick one in the front plug is for the battery. At both, it is the display plug. The free rear port is ABS or HBP, so it's optional and you can upgrade it just in case you want. Red is the rear light, blue is the front light. And the front connector is the speed sensor in case of LPP port. This is the one we will disconnect and run through our tuning module. Be very careful. Use a good pair of pliers. These are tiny connectors with small pins that must not bend. Gently pull the speed sensor plug out. Just I showed you, you can use your finger here as a little helper. Then you check the tuning metal connector. It has a guiding rails, so it only fits one way. Never force it. A tip. On Wiesel modules, the blue output cable should rawly point to 7 o'clock. So it's around 19 p.m. on a clock face. First insert with your fingers and then gently press with pliers until it clicks in place. 
Now connect the bike's original plug into the tuning module's other port. Manage the cables so the module doesn't dangle. Use nearby cables or a zip tie and reinstall the battery cover. Now we can power on the bike and check the activation. By default, the tuning is active. If active, the display will show 20 kilometers on startup. If not, you will need to activate it manually. To activate it, turn the bike on and pass the rear wheel by magnet by the sensor three times. I mounted the camera to show this on my bike. Just spin the wheel three full rotations so the magnet passes. The sensor three times, then immediately turn the bike off. That permanently toggles the tuning. To adjust the maximum speed, for example, you're going on with the calibration. Do the same, but move the magnet four times instead of three. After turning the bike off and on again, you can set the cutoff speed between 31 and 50 km an hour in 0.1 km steps by spinning the rear wheel. If you go over 51 km an hour, it loops back to 31, so be very carefully. Once the desired speed is set, turn the bike off to safe. Turn it on again to check the activation. The display shows 20 km an hour, meaning the tuning is active. Regarding the speed display up to 22 km an hour, it shows normally. Above it, only the decimal places change. This prevents the display from showing very high average speeds if someone checks the bike. Remember, riding tuned bikes on public roads is illegal. Police can size the e-bike and you lose insurance and type approval. You risk thousands of dollars in fines and charges. If used privately on closed property, it is legal and fun. If you go on public roads, you face serious legal consequences. Now you know how to install and use the models and the legal situation in Germany. Other countries may differ. If you liked the video, leave a comment, like or even subscribe. All tools I used are linked below as airflight links. If you buy something, I earn a small commission at no extra cost to you.